All right, we are back on site here the next day. Uh, task for today is have the house site here behind us. And what we're gonna be doing now is going out to our wood pile over there, getting our footers, laying those out there. We have our plans here. We're gonna be looking at those. And uh, yeah, just be pretty much going down to the house site, getting our form set up, and then be later on going in and putting in the uh, rebar and uh, pouring some concrete a little bit in a few days. But for now, let's just get in the hole. I'll show you what we're doing and we'll get to work. And looking at, at our house site here, kind of what I like to do first is start on our two long walls. First long wall is gonna be this one along here. This is where the entryway is gonna go. So I'm trying to get this one uh, aligned just right. So the uh, front door will be here and looking down at kind of the parking spots and get this first wall here and then back there to that next long wall. And then from there, we can take our measurements off of that one and get the rest of our footers all lined up and everything's gonna be where they're supposed to be. And here looking at, at the plans, so that we were just up here on the hill looking down into the house site. So first thing we're gonna do is get this wall, uh, this, this footer wall here, get that one lined up, and then we'll go ahead and put this one out since those are our two straightest walls. And then we'll measure corner to corner here and make sure those are square. And then from there we can go off and do our next walls up there. But most important thing is to get this first wall straight and this wall straight and square and uh, we can go from there. So anyways, getting to work, put this wall out first. All right, so it's been a couple of hours here. Thought I'd get a little update here. I don't want to set up the time lapse to kind of show what we're doing, uh, just because it's a lot of wandering around. And I know that I make these houses look pretty easy to build, but it's been three, four hours of us just kind of digging rocks out from here because it's a little high there. That corner needed some rocks taken out. Kind of back over here, it needed a little bit of rocks taken out of there. And then over here by the pipe, I uh, had to take some rocks out of there. So it's been a lot of digging, a lot of measuring, but I think most of that hard part is done and we're more than halfway done getting these footers put in there. So the uh, outside is usually the hard part and we've been putting the uh, inside put part on. That's always the easier part. But yeah, um, maybe I'll set up the camera and do a little time lapse of putting these uh, outside forms on and we'll go get back to work. It's getting super hot today. So we want to get done as much as we can before we get heat stroke. All right, back here again is actually the next day here. Went ahead and we were able to get the uh, outside of these footers done all the way around. That's gonna make it real easy for when we're doing the inside footers. Uh, I'll show you that process, but makes things easier once the outside is done. Uh, we left a little bit earlier yesterday, uh, once we finished, because it's just way too hot out here to be working. But back again, nice and cool today. So we can get down there and start putting some string lines across so we can, we can see where put the uh, inside of the footers and then uh, yeah we'll start cutting those out and yeah just getting back to work put some rebar in there we'll get our center supports put in there for those footers those forms and just go from there so you know how it goes back to work
All right, we went ahead and got these these forms put in there. And like I said before, the inside forms are much easier to do than the outside. Uh, so we got those in. That was only about half the half the morning. Got those in. And you saw those guys, they're bringing over the rebar. Uh, once we got these forms in here, went ahead and kind of raked out the middle there and got all the uh, loose rocks out and just got everything down to the undisturbed soil. So then the uh, concrete can rest on those. We put in the rebar chairs, I'll show you those ones, and then laying the rebar down. And then we'll have little uh, cross pieces to uh, tie in the top of the forms together. So we went ahead, went all the way around, put our half inch rebar in our trenches here. Went ahead and put in these small rebar chairs so the rebar can sit about four inches off the ground. And this rebar will be held nice and center inside of the uh, concrete forms there. And then uh, going ahead with some uh, ties, tying this all together, so these are stuck together. And over at the corners there, down there, I'll show you that one, we're overlapping those ones. And then where we have seams in the in the rebar here, overlapping those by about a foot and then tying those together and just getting everything all tied together in one nice big solid piece. And this is kind of what we're doing at the corners here. Sometimes I've, I've been uh, bending them just around the corners, uh, but this this house, I'm just going ahead and just we're just cutting them uh, off at the edges there and then overlapping them and they end up nice and straight uh, down the center of the footers. And then of course we're getting the ties, tying them together and making them nice and strong and we have a rebar chair under the middle to uh, hold them up inside of the footers. And we're back on site this morning. It's a nice cool day. Today is concrete day. I uh, see probably from the uh, last video, I don't know if I showed it, but we got these uh, center concrete forms. That's where we'll I have a six by six on there, and then we'll have a, a girder going from one end to the other. But I'll show you that one probably on the next video when we're doing the uh, uh, fox block forms. But for today, uh, everything is, is done here with these uh, footer forms. Double checked all the measurements, have all our rebar in there, the rebar chairs, everything's tied down. Went ahead and cut our rebar. That's going to go uh, every five feet in our forms going vertical to attach to the uh, uh, ICF forms when we put those on. And everything's done. So we're just kind of waiting for the concrete truck. And uh, yep, when it gets here, I'll start filming it again. That one will probably be a time lapse of doing that just because there's uh, a lot of work to get done and we need everyone here as we can. So I won't be doing too much video of that. So just sit back and Enjoy the show.
All right, we're back on site here. It's actually the next day now. Uh, yesterday, after moving all the concrete with the wheelbarrows and smoothing things out in this hot sun, I just didn't have any motivation or energy to even pick up the camera and do any videos. I think yesterday, it was a lot of work yesterday, but glad that is done. And I'm gonna show you it now, now that everything is nice and dry. But we had smoothed everything out, put our rebar in there. Uh, we put the concrete in these middle forms here. Let me show you the back of the house here. And back of the corner here of the house. I don't know if it's on the time lapse or not. I'll have to look at that one. I haven't looked at that yet. But on the back of the house here, from this corner to here, we ran out of concrete, which is a little bit short. But luckily, I went to my house. I had some concrete there. I grabbed eight bags of concrete. We came, mixed it up, put it in the corner there, and smoothed it out. And we were able to get in there while the concrete from the truck was still wet. So everything kind of went together and blended in nice and uh, kind of solved that problem there. Yeah, that is done. Now, things to do today is take off the forms and start putting in the fox block. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I uh, just saw it, put the forms in, built those, put the rebar in, got the concrete in. That is done. That phase of this project is all complete. Next thing is taking the forms off, building the fox block, and filling those with concrete. But I'm going to save that for this uh, next one. I'm going to get started on that right now. But for you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe. Because this is one of the first videos of many to come of uh, building this house start to finish. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here next weekend.